Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Gosha and I used to make swatch and nail art videos once a week until I had a break because of my camera issues. But now hopefully the issue is solved and I will be able to get back to my regular schedule. So today I have swatches of new collection from Kinetics that is called Guiltless. I won this collection in a contest that was organized by Polish Kinetics Instagram. The collection came to me in this beautiful box which apart from the nail polish contained a kind of magazine with all of the nail polishes well described and some nail arts you can create with these polishes. So inside there are 8 cream polishes and there is also a solar top coat which is supposed to make the manicure last for a super long time. This top coat is in a silver bottle which I suppose it is to protect it from the sunlight because these polishes are kind of cured by daylight from what I understand. And from what I read, these solar polishes are a mix of regular nail polish with gel polish and they are applied as regular nail polish and you can take them off using regular nail polish remover, but they are supposed to last as well as if they were gel. So as this is the first time me having this brand on my channel, I wanted to show you the brush as well, which is awesome, I need to admit. And it is a white brush, very well made, and it helps you to get the cleanest line in the cuticle area ever. I absolutely love this brush. So that being said, we can go into the swatches. So the first one is called Electra, which is a neon yellow. It was inspired by neon Pac-Man 90 style and transparent fashion accessories. I totally see the inspiration behind this shade. It is very bright, very neon and my camera is going crazy with such a bright shade. The formula is great here, although it is a neon, it covers extremely well. Two coats for me are enough for full coverage. And the formula is not runny at all, the polish stays exactly where I apply it and I just enjoy this nail polish a lot. The next one is Guiltless and this is described as Hysteric Red. I would actually say it is a neon orange. Very good formula though, it is actually one of the shades that I stopped swatching at first coat because it covered so well that there was no point for me of doing a second coat. It will be amazing for people that love neon polishes and love to have bright nails. The inspiration behind this one were Alarm Signals, Festival Neon Sticks and Fierce Photo Filter. The next one is Bloody Red and this is described as Berry Blush Shade. Very accurate description in my opinion. This shade is just amazing, it is a true one coater and even for my swatch picture I made only one coat because it looks so opaque that adding a second one even for a swatch picture is just pointless. This is one of the shades I know I will be reaching out for because it is so beautiful and it also has such an amazing formula that this is just a dream working with this nail polish. This is one of my favorites from this collection and the inspiration behind this shade was Raspberry Jam, Pamper Sessions and Tea Roses. Next one we have is Blue Jeans and it is described as must have blue <laughs> and the description is actually funny but I agree with it 100% I love this shade if you're going to get only one from this collection I would say go for this one I am NOT a blue nail polish person to be honest but this shade has something that is so unique that I already painted my nails twice with it which trust me is a lot for me to repeat a nail polish in such a short amount of time because I actually have this collection for like a week and this color is so amazing, the formula is amazing. Here I made one coat but for swatch picture I made actually two coats just in case but to be honest it is fine with just one. Amazing shade for summer and I highly recommend getting this one. 
and the inspiration for this shade was obviously blue jeans, English blue porcelain and Juan Miro artworks. Next one we have is Raspberry Gin and this is described as Tender Rouge, very bright shade. One of the inspirations for this shade was a watermelon smoothie and seeing this shade it looks exactly like watermelon smoothie for me. For this one I needed two coats for full opacity which is still amazing for such a bright color. And I think that people that love bright neon shades will really love this one. Next we have Scarlet Letter and this is described as Sinner's Red. This is a true classic red, such a beautiful color. On the first coat it is almost like jelly-like shade, which I think you can see on the video. The second coat is covering the nail completely. I really enjoy this shade and this might actually become my favorite red. Also it looks so stunning on long nails. Next we have Innocence, which is described as Skylight Blue. This one is inspired by Summer Sky, Innocent Pillow Talks and Clear Blue Ocean Bubble Bath. I don't know how about you, but I enjoy these inspirations a lot and I think that they also describe the nail polish so well. For this one, I needed two coats. The formula is very good as with the rest of the polishes. I think that this one was the least opaque from all of them, but still great with two coats, so no complaints whatsoever here. Really nice, beautiful sky blue shade. And last but not least, we have Not Today Bobby, and this is described as Violet Black. This one is very dark. With two coats, it actually looks like black nail polish and it is hard to say that it actually has a color to it. On the first coat though, you can see pretty much clearly that it's not a black. This polish has a very good formula as the rest. On the first coat, as you can see here, it's not 100% opaque, which I think it's a good thing because you can actually leave it at one coat if you not want to have that black like nail polish on your nails. I really enjoyed this nail polish and even if it looks like black, I know I will use it a lot. And the inspiration behind this nail polish are stormy nights, blueberries and film negatives. So that's it for today, I am really happy that I won this collection and that I could show it to you guys. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more videos like this one. I hope that now that I have all sorted with my camera, I will be uploading videos more often as I used to. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video, bye!